So welcome everyone to Ham Radio University 2021. I'm Diane Ortiz, K2DO, and I was first licensed in 1972. This morning, I'd like to show you around our special virtual Ham Radio University for 2021 with some tips and techniques for getting the most out of this event. First, some history. The first Ham Radio University was at Babylon Town Hall Annex on Phelps Lane in North Babylon, Long Island, New York. There were 15 forums and about 150 attendees. Admission was a $2 donation and included free coffee and donuts. Uh, today for our virtual HRU, you'll have to provide your own. There were more than 50 people at the volunteer exam session and overflowed the huge cafeteria. This event is dedicated to our founder, the founder of HRU and the first HRU chairman, uh, my good friend and wonderful ham, Phil Lewis, N2MUN. Uh, this is a photo of Phil at Ham Radio University last year, where he was a presenter of two forums. Phil was past president of the Great South Bay Amateur Radio Club, the Order of Boiled Owls Contest and DX Club of New York. He was named the ARRL Hudson Division Amateur of the Year in 2000. He was also a longtime ARRL Hudson Division Assistant Director and the ARRL New York City Long Island Section Affiliated Club Coordinator. Phil was an active DXer, contester, and participated in field day and special events. Phil said the concept of Ham Radio University came out of a desire to find ways to get inactive hams back into the hobby. He will be missed. And we hope to carry on his legacy by continuing Ham Radio University for years to come. So now let's take a poll. What's your Ham Radio University experience? Please take a moment to answer the following questions and we'll post the results in a minute. Tip, this is a good time to answer the poll and then top off that cup of coffee. So please open the poll. Let's see if it comes up. Okay, I think the poll is up. So if you take a minute, Okay, so you could just answer those questions and we'll have the answers in a minute. Okay, 92% of you have answered the poll. Thank you. So we're going to close the poll. And I'm going to ask uh, for the poll to be put on the screen. Okay, so I can't see the poll myself, so I'm going to ask George to come in for a second and share those poll results. George? Um, I'm here. They can't see me because the poll is still up. But uh, this is the, in my first Ham Radio University, 82%. Attended once before, 6%. Attended two to three times before, 6%. Attended four or more previous attempt, uh, events, 7%. Back to you, Diane. Okay, thanks so much, George. Wow, that's great. That's really great. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Ham Radio University. What is it? Did you know it's also the American Radio Relay League New York City Long Island Convention? It's been that way since it started in 2000. Last year, Ham Radio University was at Long Island University CW Post in Brookville, Long Island, New York. We had a keynote speaker, hands-on workshops, Volunteer exam session, club room, handouts, seven rooms with 30 forums, and more. But because of COVID-19 restrictions, we're using this GoToWebinar platform to try and recreate the forum room experience for you. So tip, if you are having a problem with this GoToWebinar software uh, and platform, right on the main page of the website, hamradiouniversity.org, 
there's an attendee guide. It's accessible from the main page. So go there and we'll have all your questions answered. Okay, so for those of you outside of the New York City, Long Island area, you might not know where exactly we are. Here's an ARRL section map, and you can see where New York City, Long Island is. There's an arrow there and the rest of the sections in the United States. And I know some of you might be from even out of the United States. So I'm gonna take another poll. Where are you? I'd like to find out where you are. So take a moment if you could answer the poll. And I think the poll is open right now. So if you could just take a few seconds to answer the questions. Okay, I see 60% of you have answered the poll. Thank you. Everybody's awake and had their coffee this morning. That's great. Okay, we'll leave it up another 10 seconds to give you a chance to answer the poll. Okay, we're gonna close the poll now. I'm going to hand it over to our other committee member, George, and to GA to give us the results of the poll. Over to you, George. Okay, thanks, Diane. So 29% are in the New York City, Long Island section, 9% in northern New Jersey, 3% in eastern New York, 53% elsewhere in the United States, and 6% outside the country. Welcome to everybody outside the country. All right, I'm closing the poll. And Diane, back to you. Okay, that's great. Wow, what a, what a what a thing. That's really fantastic. That's really great. So also too, for those of you outside the country or want to have their little menu dashboard in another language, if you go up to the top of the little dashboard, there's a little symbol of the world. If you click that down arrow, you'll see that this is available, your dashboard in many different languages. So if that's helpful, click there. It's not going to unfortunately change the presentation, but at least it'll change the controls on your little menu box. So again, thank you. All right. So why do we have Ham Radio University? Well, our logo says to spread ham radio knowledge and know-how by having this day of education to share ideas, experiences, knowledge, and fellowship among amateur radio operators. It worked, and Ham Radio University has grown every year with more forums, participation, and attendees. Last year, every room was filled to overflowing. And you'll see there, that was our welcome. The picture, the photo there you see is of our welcome desk. Everybody was happy, it was a great day. So now before you begin, here are some more tips. When I did the uh, introduction last year, one of the big things was, well, where are all the bathrooms? Where are the forum rooms? Well, it's easier this year. The forum rooms are right here on your screen and hopefully you know where your own bathroom is. I won't go into that. Okay, so on the screen, you'll see what the front page of the hamradiouniversity.org uh, looks like. I'm sure you've been there. Of course, on the left, on the bottom is the link for the forums page, but there's some other interesting things here too. Did you know there is a 2021 day of event handout with a summary of all of the forums? So if you click on there, you can download it. It's also available for download in your menu. There is a little handouts thing. If you click on the down arrow, you'll see there's one handout there. That is the day of event handout there. Uh, that's available for you to download right now. Registration is still open for each of our forums, except for this one. And if you didn't know already, there's a special event station that's been going on since last week. It's called W2HRU. Uh, if you get a chance, please get on the air today. I think it'll be on through the end of the day up to midnight and maybe even tomorrow, I believe. So if you do work it, you can um, get a nice uh, commemorative certificate right online. So there's a log checker right online and the link to there uh, is on that, on that part of the website. Also on the bottom left, you'll notice the forums are being recorded. 
and will be avail available after the event on the HRU YouTube channel. You can submit questions at any time. Use the little question indicator on your menu box. You can type it in. We'll do the questions at the end. Also, at the end of every forum, there's going to be an exit survey. So if you could take a minute to please answer the survey, we'd appreciate it. If you don't wanna do it right away, it will be emailed to you so you can do it later on. Handouts. Okay, this is an example of one of the handouts on the left for ham radio contesting. They're available for download during the forum. Not every forum has a handout, but if there are handouts, they'll be available there. Uh, you can uh, download them no matter what type of computer you have. The handout file will automatically start downloading from your default web browser. Just click on it to open or save it. So again, each form is 45 minutes. There's a 15 minute break, hopefully between forums. That gives us time to set up for the next forum in that room. These are virtual rooms. We have two of them, uh, two different tracks with different forums. Two forums are always going on at the same time, except for me this morning. I was lucky. I got my own forum. So here's a cool tip. A lot of people have said, oh, but I wanted to go to the digital mode forum, but I wanted to go to the overview of ham radio logging programs at the same time, but they're both at the same time. What to do? Well, guess what? You can register for both forums and go back and forth between the forums. Once a forum starts, you cannot register for it. But if you went right now or after this forum ends and you see two forums at the same time that you wanted to attend, go ahead, register for both and you can go back and forth. You can watch one on your laptop, maybe one on your computer or one on your phone. Now, this requires a lot of multitasking, but as I have on the bottom, this should be easy for those of you who operate single op two radio, SO2R. That's kind of an inside joke for contesters because you're like a one arm paper hanger, as they say, by having to do many things at the same time and pay attention. But it is available for you, so we just wanted to let you know that in case that's something you wanted to do. So meet the HRU committee. You might be wondering who is behind the curtain. So here's the 2021 HRU committee chaired by Tom Karuba, KA2D. Tom is past president of the Great South Bay Amateur Radio Club, past New York Long Island section manager, and has been HRU chairman since 2011. Tom, are you here? You wanna say hello? Uh, yeah, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to HRU uh, 2021, and uh, thanks for attending. I'm sure you're going to have a good time. Back to you, Diane. Okay, thanks, Tom. We also have Gary Lintner, KB2BSL. Gary is past president of the Kings County Repeater Association in Staten Island and is a webinar guru. Are you here, Gary? You want to say hello? Yes, good morning, Diane. Good morning to everybody else. Uh, enjoy your day. Okay, thanks, Gary. And we have Mel Granick, KS2G. Mel's claim to fame is being a forum presenter at all of our HRU events, including this one. He's currently president of the Order of Boiled Owls Contest Club of New York. Mel, I don't think you're here. Are you here this morning? Yes, I am, Diane. Good morning to everybody. And thanks for the plug, Diane. It's been a pleasure to be part of HRU from the very first time. And I appreciate the fact that of 20 years, I've uh, 20 plus years, I've been at every HRU and done a forum at every HRU. Everybody should realize uh, to do that for 20 years. I started when I was 12. Yeah. So thanks a lot, everybody, for, for coming. I see we have a big attendance uh, of, um, of, the, of this forum. The uh, advanced registration for the other forums has been great. Uh, I look forward to giving uh, my forum on introduction to uh, HF operating at uh, 10 o'clock, and I hope everybody enjoys their day. Okay, thanks so much, Mel. Glad you're here. And next is George Chanos, N2GA. He's past president of the Long Island Mobile Amateur Radio Club, past president of the Order of Boiled Owls Contest Club, 
past ARL New York City Long Island section manager and is our webmaster and go-to webinar coordinator. Um, George was HRU chairman from 2003 to 2006, and he's also my OM. George? Yeah, thanks, Diane, and good morning to everybody. Uh, we hope you enjoy the day. Uh, the HRU committee has worked very hard to put together a great program for everyone. So uh, hopefully everyone will enjoy their forums, and thank you for attending today. Diane? Hey, thanks, George. Next is Richie Citron. He's currently the longtime president of the Long Island Mobile Amateur Radio Club and is currently the American Radio Relay League Affiliated Club Coordinator. And he was also the Hudson Division Amateur of the Year for 2012. Richie, you want to say a few words? Yes, good morning to everyone. Welcome. And uh, I'd just like to point out that all of us love to give back to this hobby, which we love so much. And we hope that each of you that is in attendance today will walk away and say, wow, I really benefited by today's experience. So welcome and have a great day. Thanks, Richie. Next, we have Neil Heft, KC2KY. Neil is an electrical engineer and currently president of the Radio Central Amateur Radio Club. Neil was also HRU chairman from 2007 to 2010. Neil? Good morning, everybody. Uh... I look forward to this uh, very interesting uh, version of HRU, and I hope everybody has a good time. Uh, it's been my honor to uh, serve on the committee in various capacities for these past 21 years. And uh, onward and upward. Okay, thanks, Neil. I also want to mention Neil is our current HRU treasurer. So if you do get a chance, and I want to thank all the many, many people who donated to this event. So thank you. Uh, next is Dennis Boyer. He's currently vice president of the Order of Boiled Owls Contest Club. And in 2020, he came in number one in the US second call area in the CQ Worldwide WPX CW contest, and number one in New York for the NAQSO party Riddy. Dennis, are you here this morning? Yes, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ham Radio University. I hope you all find this a very successful event. Uh, I was first licensed in 1980, uh, fell out of ham radio because of family and work commitments, and I am a success story of ham radio university. I attended several years back and got back into ham radio thanks to HRU. So I hope you find it as wonderful as I did and enjoy your day. Thanks, Dennis. Next, we have Mike Lysenko, N2YBB. Mike is the immediate past ARRL Hudson Division Director. He has previously served as ARL section manager, section emergency coordinator, and assistant section manager for the New York City Long Island section. Mike, did we get you up this morning? Nope, I guess not. Okay, well, he'll be on later to help us out. Next is Jerry Abrams, WB2ZEX. Jerry is currently the Limark treasurer and our database email administrator. Jerry, you wanna say a few words? Uh, good morning to everybody. I'll leave my camera off because it may not come on. I hope everybody has a nice day at HIU. As you said earlier, I don't have to go out of the 25 degree temperature or we'll shovel the snow as we had to do a few years back. Okay, uh, everybody thanks, have an enjoyable day. Thanks very much, Jerry. Appreciate it. Next is Jim Meezy, W2KFV. Jim is currently our New York City, Long Island ARL section manager. He's been honored with the 2009 Hudson Division Amateur of the Year Award. Are you here, Jim? Yes, I am, Diane. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to HRU 2021. Another great day with a bunch of great people. It's a great committee. So enjoy your, your stay and uh, have a good time. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Jim. And then there's me, Diane Ortiz, K2DO. I'm past president of the Long Island Mobile, Mobile Amateur Radio Club, past president of the Order of Boiled Owls Contest Club. And in 2009, I was uh, given the Grand Ole Ham Award. Yes, I feel old. I also wrote the YL column in QST for 10 years and the YL contesting column in CQ Contest for a long time. And I'm past uh, chairman of the ARL Public Relations Committee. So that's a little bit about us. 
Now a little bit more about Ham Radio University. There's a lot of information on the website. So you can get all the flyers of past HRU events, except for a couple of exceptions we weren't able to find, I think 2004 and one more. But on the hru.org uh, website, if you go to previous events and you'll see the arrow there pointing to that, click on that and then click on history summary to see all the past events, their summaries of uh, what was held, there are listings of the forums, where they were, because we had a couple of different venues for this event. And uh, there's lots of other information as well, photos and other things that you might find interesting. So definitely make use of that and, um, and find out some more information about HRU. So we wanted to thank you and hope you enjoy HRU. The committee is dedicated to helping you expand your ham radio experience. We've worked hard to recreate the atmosphere we've had over the years in the past, and we hope you agree. So now we'll go to some questions. Uh, George, do we have any questions from anyone? Okay, yes, we have one question, Diane. And uh, just for those of you that may have additional questions, there's a questions panel in your control panel. If you just open that little questions panel, you can ask a question, and we'll be able to answer your question, hopefully, here. So, Diane, the question I have is, uh, will the presentation slides for each forum be posted on the HRU website? Uh, well, it depends on whether the presenter has sent that to us, and, and the question, again, was, uh, will the slides uh, from each of the forums be available afterwards? Even if they're not, the actual presentations are being recorded and will be available on the HRU YouTube channel. Uh, some of you may have come in a little late. I see there's uh, more people in now that weren't in earlier. Uh, so the handouts should be available again on the website. Uh, they are also available during the forum. Not every forum has handouts. Like right now, uh, there's one handout that's available now for this forum. It is the HRU event flyer for today. If you want to download it now, it's easier to do that, or you can just go back to the hru.org website to download it there. Also, previous handouts are available there. So we'll do our best to have everything available for those of you who missed a forum who want to go back to it later. Uh, also note that there should be contact information for every forum presenter. Usually on the last slide, you'll see my information is there. Um, you can contact me or email me at k2do at arl.net. If you have any questions afterwards or uh, want to know where to find something, you can email us, I believe, through the website, or you can always email me at k2do at arl.net, and we'll do our best to have your questions answered. Anybody else have any questions? Yes, we have a few more. Okay. Um, for someone brand new to ham radio, what forms are best or appropriate? Okay. Well, you know, there's there's so much so much here. Uh, the question was, I, I believe, probably starting out is is uh, overview of ham radio logging programs. QRP might be interesting. Uh, if you're going to start out, probably the basics of HF operating with Mel KS2G at 10 o'clock. That might be a good place to start. Or just learning a little bit about emergency communications and what's available um, at 9 o'clock is the ARL forum, especially if you happen to live here in New York, in the New York City, Long Island section, or in New York State, or the tri-state area. That might be a good place to start and ask questions. But Probably the best place to start is your local radio club. If you look at the day of event flyer, you'll see a list of participating amateur radio organizations. These are all clubs and groups in the New York City, Long Island area, but also cover the tri-state. So if you're outside of the area, if you're someplace else in the United States or outside the country, try and find out if there's an amateur radio club or organization in your area. So you can meet other hams, share ideas, and learn more. George, back to you. OK, 
Okay, so one person wants to know uh, that they're they're uh, you used the, you used the term they're not familiar with. You said that I'm your OM. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Well, for those of you who don't know, George and I are married. George is my husband. So uh, we do a lot of contesting and uh, DX operating together. And we're lucky enough to share this wonderful hobby. And I'm his, I should say XYL, but I prefer to use just YL. And that stands for young lady. XYL usually means you're the wife, but YL is good enough. Back to you, George. Okay, thanks, Diane. Uh, just a local question. When is the next license test in the Long Island area? Live or virtual test? And, and how would they find this information out? Okay, I believe if you go to the ARL uh, website, it has a list of different clubs and organizations that are having volunteer exam sessions. Uh, Jim, if you're here, maybe you could answer a little bit with more information on that question. Jim? Yes. Uh if you have a question about it, you can uh, contact me at w2kfv at arrl.org, and uh, I could give you a little bit more information. Uh, some stuff's up in the air yet because of COVID. Uh, uh, some people are doing online testing, and I can give you a list of what, what's there, but you would have to contact and make appointments to do that. Okay. Hey, Back great, to Jim. Thank you. George, any other questions? Uh, yes. Other than donations, how is HRU funded? Well, that's it. Donations are the only way. Uh, we're all volunteers. Nobody here gets paid. And the donations go towards usually the cost of the venue, which, believe it or not, the go-to webinar product costs just as much, uh, if not a little bit more. That's why we only have two forum rooms and not and that four, five, six, or seven forum rooms. And uh, it took us a little while to learn how to use this platform. And we worked hard, and so did all the presenters. Every presenter that you're going to see today has done a dry run with us. They spent a lot of time. Uh, many of us, including myself and, and George, bought new webcams just so we could do this. Um, uh, screens and other things to, uh, to help make this a great presentation for you and spent a lot of time ahead of time. So uh, we hope this all works great. Thank you again for uh, you know any donations. You can do that through the website. Uh, they they do go towards supporting this this event and we hope to have many, many more in the future. George. Okay. Thanks, Diane. There are just a couple of more questions. Uh, okay. are there other HRU events during the year? Do they require ARRL membership? Well, these, these events are open to all. There's no membership or anything required. You don't even have to be a ham radio operator. And now with the virtual event, anybody from out, any place in the world can attend. So I think that's a great, that's a great plus. There are some thoughts about having another ham radio university, probably a virtual event sometime in the summer. But uh, we're waiting to see how this goes. This required a lot of work to set up. Uh, so we're not sure that um, then in the summer uh, we'll be able to do that. Of course, the hope is that by 2022, we'll be able to have an in-person event. But we might have a virtual event as well to complement it or uh, have that as a supplement to the in-person event so that we can have this widespread participation. And again, no, you don't have to be an ARL member or member of a club or licensed HAM to uh, enjoy HAM Radio University and register and attend. Back to you, George. Okay, Diane, thank you. Um, one person wanted to know when the, will the recordings be available? Uh, uh, Gary, uh, do you have any idea on that? Maybe Gary and George, I'm not sure when they will be. Sure. There, there's going to be a lot of work uh, in to process them and place them up onto our YouTube channel, but we anticipate uh, approximately a week. Okay, great, Gary. So again, if there is a, a forum that you have not registered for that's at the time, same time as another forum, uh, don't feel bad. I believe there's still space available. We can have up to 500 people in each uh, forum. 
So uh, if you register for uh, two forums and look at one or record one yourself, uh, that might be an option for those who want to see uh, something or you, maybe you can't make forums later on or, or uh, other uh, options are available to you. George? Okay. Um, we have a person from Germany, hello, who asked, uh, thank you very much for the event. I am honored to take part. Are there plans to stream future HRUs like this? Uh, right now, we're not sure. We hope to. Again, this virtual event has been very successful, and we're going to analyze it uh, afterwards. We would appreciate if everyone could answer the exit uh, survey. That would give us an idea on how it's being received. This is our first one. So please let us know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, if you have any suggestions, and that'll help us make plans for the future. Okay, are all the sessions running? I have only received 10 link messages. They're all running, right, Diane? It's just um, uh, the link messages go into their email, and if they haven't received them, they should check their spam or junk folders. Yes, absolutely. I, I found it myself, you know, even a little confusing. There's a lot of um, emails there and finding the right one might be a little problematic. So take a minute. Uh, if you can't find it at all, uh, if uh, you look in your spam folder and it's not there, uh, George, would you suggest that they register again? Um, they could register again. It would probably give them the same link again. Uh, and remember, one hour before the forum, they will receive another reminder email. So. If they have a forum this afternoon, let's say a three o'clock forum, at two o'clock they'll get an email with another another join link. Okay, that's great, George. Thank you. That's helpful. So check your email, um, and uh, hopefully you'll you'll be able to to check in. And um, again, too, if you have problems with the GoToWebinar software or anything. Please check that guide on the main page of the website because it has a lot of common issues. So you can go there and uh, see if there's something there that will help you. It also has answers for those of you who are using um, uh, Apple devices because uh, sometimes the GoToWebinar product works a little differently on those than it does for other devices. So it does have a lot of information there. So do check that first, okay? Thanks, George. Any other questions? Uh, one more. When we have HRU in person again, will the forums be via webinar at the same time for hams that cannot leave their homes? Well, that's something that we're thinking about. So again, uh, if that's something that would be good for you, please mention that on the survey. That'll help us make a decision for the next HRU. Diane, if I may, uh, we have streamed the uh, HRU events in the past, and we have an extensive library already up on our YouTube channel, and we will possibly stream them in the future as well. That's great, Gary. Thank you. That's great. George, anyone else? That's all I have, Diane. So, um, and we're at 8.34 at this point, so whatever you want to wrap up would be fine. Okay. Well, again, I want to thank everyone for checking in this morning. I have over 180 people here in this uh, introduction form. So thank you. Enjoy HRU. There's a lot of great information that you're gonna have and you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Nothing better than that. So thank you again. And please, again, if you could answer that exit survey, it would be very helpful. And um, have great fun today, 7-3.